the stuff that we've talked about here is like a, a tiny, tiny fraction of the stuff that we know about about what's happened or the, about what we know about the development and funding of coronavirus research in Wuhan. So we know that the, the US government will, um, put a moratorium on it. Um, that moratorium was like somewhat ignored um, with some of the research and funding that went uh, went towards Echo Health Alliance and to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. We know they were working on um, bat coronaviruses. We know that they were working on something approximating gain of function um, uh, within them. We know that they were working on them infecting uh, hu- like was it isn't it uh genetically well, engineered mice, mice humanized, humanized mice. mice that's that's the 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 phrase i was looking for yeah the humanized mice and bats, uh, and bats. we know <laughs> that we have the 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 furin cleavage site within uh, sars cov2 that is uh, less than a one in a billion chance that that was in there by accident that, that if people don't know this is is uh, it's a portion of a a patented virus by Moderna from 2015 that the sequence of which is in SARS-CoV-2 and there's yeah less than a one in a billion chance that that's by accident we know we have all of the emails about them covering up the the, the or their attempts to cover this up we have <laughs> Um, that uh, there was, uh, I think it was like half of the people originally who got infected within the within Wuhan, like at least half of them didn't have any link to the the seafood market whatsoever. We had, I don't think, any bats in the entire province of Wuhan tested um, positive for anything approximating this uh, this like strain of coronavirus. There was no pangolins tested, no proof ever of of uh, animal to human transmission. Why the fuck is this a debate? Like, actually, why is this a debate? Why is this not the biggest fucking story on the planet? Like, you should be, honestly, This I was thinking about this last night. In a serious world, you are the on, on every single news channel. The Anthony Fauci has cameras outside his fucking door asking oh. for the truth. Like, Peter Daszak oh, has cameras. Yeah. Like, like, where is yeah. that? Like, well, why is that not happening? It, it's going to be... Josh, you know what? I'm sort of like the the Forrest Gump of bioterror because there, there's something another aspect of the story that nobody else uh, knows here. So I caught the FBI and the Michigan State Police um, breaking into my house repeatedly. I caught them. So the Michigan State Police, my state's a governor, the Democrat who's very t- closely tied to the Biden administration, uh, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Um, breaking into my house repeatedly, doing all sorts of the harassment. The source of it is the FBI and the Michigan State Police. Well, some of these people who work at these two agencies are idiots because one of the things that they stole from my house, the hard drives contained data that was used um, to, to create classified materials for the U.S. government. So um, back to what I told you what I normally did. So that, that Department of Homeland Security Center of Excellence, where I got my Ph.D., I did most of the research on how they classified food and ag systems, meaning which ones were the most critical and secure to the United States, along with creating the formulas, the methods, the rationale, the specific nuance and all the detail of how you would attack these facilities. I I, I created a lot of that work for the U.S. government. And a lot of that has been published in peer review. For your audience who wants to see it, you can search, search for my name, Andrew G. Huff. FASCAT, F-A-S-C-A-T, and that is the anonymized work, some of it. Well, they stole the cookbook from my house. It wasn't classified, um, but it was used to create top secret level information. And never in a million years did I think this would go missing from a safe inside my house. I reported this to the FBI, the USDA, the FDA, um, what other three letter DHS, three letter agencies. Um, no one has returned a phone call to investigate where these data went. The FBI didn't even know what they were. And we're in the process right now, Tom Renz and I, of notifying state attorney generals that their basically classified information has been stolen. And the federal government has refused to investigate it. I recently just passed this information on to Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson's office because I was sitting on this this sort of, um, you know, ace in my hole. And I actually have a a couple more tricks up my sleeve. They're going to investigate this information. They they 
decided to screw with the wrong guy. I, I had wanted to get away from this uh, stuff my whole life, but the truth's going to get out there, and maybe I will be on the front page of Worth. Because have you heard about the recent string of food and agri- agriculture attacks around the globe? Uh, have yes, I, I, I had. Well, I haven't actually heard anything in the last month or two, actually. But I had been, I had been following a string of stories of like gr- grain warehouses burning down and uh, food markets, and like yeah. So I had, I had seen that 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 Josh. trend. I did the analysis on my my data. So the attacks are 70% correlated. But then I ran a more sophisticated uh, statistical test. And literally, you can run what's called a student's t-test on this for two samples, meaning you compare the frequency of attacks with the overall population of facilities that run the initial analysis. Because that's how good I am at national security. Uh, In terms of what's called a t-score, the t-score was 256. Meaning it was, it's basically impossible that these attacks were not derived from these data. So that means the drives that went missing from my house were used to inform the attacks. It means that the other person that could have these data, and I'm not going to name it, uh, him, is a high ranking military official. They were stolen from him, or they were stolen from the Department of Homeland Security directly, or someone else used the exact same, came up with the same method of analysis for risk and compiled all this information themselves and then decided to attack our own critical infrastructure. So this is my guess what happened. These Michigan State Police idiots that have been doing this, because they're not very smart, I've met them, and I've actually met the, the FBI people, I've identified them. There's they came in here, they stole this crap from my house, and they probably went down to the local pawn shop and just dropped it off or gave it to Goodwill because they're doing it to, to harass me. But I didn't really think what was on the drives or analyze the information. They got rid of it, and it probably fell into enemy hands. That's my guess. That's pure speculation on my point, on my part, but the statistical analysis of a Z-score or a T-score of 256, I've never seen that in a, in a real-world experiment in my life. I mean, if you're talking standard deviations, you get super excited. If you see four or five standard deviations from normal, mm. and you see something on a T-test, 256, that's like um, I'm tossing, uh, you know, I'm picking which atom I'm going to hit in a pool and I'm tossing a dart into it. You know, like, it's just, uh, it's insane. You know, so it's like, it's it's so it's so improbable for that that alignment to be there. Um, yeah, so that's that's the, the other weird part of the story. So through through the US government trying to harass me, intimidate me into not speaking about what we've been talking about, they inadvertently probably released a highly sensitive data set into the open market. Somebody has it. Wow. And they're, 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 and if they refuse to talk to me or answer these questions, I'm just going to, we're going to the state attorney generals and they're going to investigate. And the states can say, hey, it's because it's their data, right? So the state governments lost their data on the safe that was sold in my house, plus the corporations lost that. People are going to ask questions. I've already shared this information with a number of people. There, there's going to be charges. You know, they say Nuremberg 2.0. The problem is none of this ever works as fast as we want it to. Mm. You know, everybody wants a trial right away. Well, there's no things that have to happen first. So in the U.S. government, the politicians, both Democrats or Republicans, need to believe they have political support to do the the political side Mm -hmm. of this. Uh, State attorney generals within their own state need to believe that they have the support of the people because a lot of times they're elected or they're appointed by the governor. Need to believe they have the support of the people to bring charges. So all these, these, these government employees need to believe that they have the support. But in our country... If everyone falls for, in, and globally right now, actually, if everyone falls for the false the false narrative that there is about to be global war and we're all in conflict, well, every time I go to the grocery store, I go and visit somewhere around the United States, I don't see anyone at conflict and everyone looks perfectly happy buying their, their Fritos and buying Coca-Cola, beer, whatever. I'm not seeing this, you know, Democrats and Republicans are about to kill each other. But if you go on social media or the news, that's, that's what it looks like. They're really trying to pump this global conflict stuff. Now, in Europe, it's a little bit different story with Ukraine and what's going on. Mm. But 
don't buy the fear. I mean, humans and globally, I think we have more in common than we ever did. And that, that's globalism, like it or not. You know, that's globalism is cause that. And people call me a globalist because I point, point things out like this. But I'm like, is this merely a fact? We all have more in common now. We've become more similar in ways. You know, and, and that's a far stretch from, you know, global government dominance, which some, you know, people point to the WEF and uh, the World Economic Foundation. You know, those are definitely stated goals of theirs. But it doesn't mean we have to buy in and support it. And at least within the United States or the United Kingdom, we take care of our own own country for, uh, first and, and what's going on. Um, any European countries, you clean clean house first within your, your within your home, you take care of things. And then you start to worry about the international community and what's going on there. I think within the United States, we need to be leaders, take care of our end of this problem. And once we do that, I think you'll see maybe a chain reaction globally. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment for us in the comments below. Let me know what you thought and if you'd like to see more of this from the show. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.